Welcome to Dermatology Explained. Today's video is looking at unusual and weird drugs that cause acne. The way we're going to learn the drugs that cause acne is via this mnemonic called acneiform. Acneiform meaning acne-like. A stands for androgens. These include sex hormones such as testosterone. Testosterone is a male sex hormone that can trigger increased skin sebum. The sebum then clogs hair follicles. That can lead to whiteheads and blackheads, which then can lead to inflammatory papules seen in acne. The levels of androgens tend to peak during the period. As such, this can lead to hormonal acne, or acne that flares with your period. C stands for corticosteroids. Steroid acne most commonly affects adolescents and adult patients, and it can be due to high doses of prescription corticosteroids, such as prednisone or dexamethasone. It can be due to a medical condition called Cushing's disease, and it can also be due to a different type of steroid called anabolic steroids. The exact mechanism isn't known, but one study found that steroids can cause increased levels of activation of a receptor called toll-like receptor 2, and that is involved in skin inflammation, and that can lead to acneiform lesions. N stands for neurological medications or drugs, and this includes lithium and haliperidol. Lithium is used in the prevention and treatment of different psychological conditions, including mania, hypermania, and depression, as well as bipolar disorder. Acne is a common inflammatory skin side effect of lithium. Haloperidol is another psychiatric drug used to treat anxiety and mood disturbances and is also associated with acneiform eruptions. E stands for epilepsy medications, and this includes phenytoin as well as carbamazepine. Anti-epileptic medications are used to prevent seizures. Acne is more common in phenytoin compared to other anti-epileptic medications, such as phenobarbital. It's not clear exactly how phenytoin or carbamazepine causes acne or makes acne worse. But the good news is that if this is a major side effect, then there may be other anti-epileptic medications available. I stands for iodide and bromides. Iodide or iodine is commonly used in topical antiseptic medications. Bromonides are widely used orally as sedatives, anti-epileptics, anti-neoplastic chemotherapy agents, and also used to prevent colic as well as in cough medications. Iodide and bromides can lead to acneiform eruptions. The exact mechanism is unclear, but it's thought that these medications can interfere with vitamin A metabolism in the skin, which affects the turnover of skin cells and can lead to acne-like lesions. F. F stands for phototherapy, and specifically a type of phototherapy where thorolin is used to increase the effectiveness of phototherapy. Phototherapy is a form of light-based therapy which is used for a number of different conditions, including psoriasis, eczema, and vitiligo. O. O stands for oral contraceptive medication or oral contraceptive pill. There are many types of birth control pills available. Some of these contain hormones such as estrogen and progestin, whilst other types contain only progestin. Birth control pills that contain older forms of progestin are more likely to be associated with acne-like eruptions compared to newer versions of progestins. It is thought that the older forms of progestins have an androgenic effect on the skin, similar to that of testosterone. This causes more sebum to be made and leads to acne-like lesions. R. R stands for rifampicin and isoniazide. These are medications which are commonly used to treat a lung infected disorder called tuberculosis. M. M stands for men at work. People who are exposed to oils and chlorinated hydrocarbons, particularly in the workplace, have an increased chance of blocking their pores and irritating their pores, leading to acneiform lesions. M also stands for mechanical, so constant friction and mechanical disturbance to the skin and the skin pores can lead to acneiform eruption as well. 
This is commonly seen in violinists with a constant friction and rubbing of the violin against the surface of the neck, leading to acneiform eruption called acne mechanica. So in a nutshell, we can remember the weird drugs which cause acneiform eruptions by using the mnemonic acneiform, which stands for androgens, corticosteroids, neurological drugs, epilepsy drugs, iodide, bromide, phototherapy, sorolin, oral contraceptive pill, rifampicin, isoniazide, men at work, and mechanical causes of acne.